Hi YouTube, it's me again. Uh, right now we are still looking at differentiation. This would be the last video of differentiation, the basics of differentiation. So if you have missed uh, the first couple of videos, uh, we did cover some stuff before uh, this video. This is video 3 out of 3. Um, there are two videos before this. Uh, so check it out if you haven't done so. Uh, what we have covered, we have done items 1 to 6. Uh, this video would uh, basically look at the quotient rule. Uh, one of the hardest things to do in maths because, uh, in A maths rather, uh, because um, students usually uh, are afraid of uh, the algebraic manipulation and so on and so forth. So we have, what we have done, we have done what's differentiation, uh, we have done the differentiation of a constant, the power rule, the sum rule, the difference rule, uh, the product rule and the chain rule. So all these uh, have, were done uh, in, the, in the two videos before this. So if you just go on the right hand side under the playlist, if I'm not wrong, I would have listed them as uh, uh, video 1 and video 2. So differentiation video part, part 1, sorry, part 1 and part 2. Alright, so part 3, we're looking at the quotient rule. Now, uh, the quotient rule, as the name implies, uh, is a rule that you apply when there is a quotient. And what does, do we mean by a quotient? It basically means uh, a fraction. Okay, excuse me uh, while I just get this, okay? So, okay, so for example, a quotient would be something like x, okay, uh, minus 3 over uh, x, okay? This is, the, this is the quotient. Now, I just, I'm just going to um, show you how uh, we can uh, do this a couple of ways before uh, we, we introduce the quotient rule. Now, if you can see here, if you make this into, you separate this out into your, your partial fractions, all right? Uh, or rather, it's not partial fractions. Uh, you, you separate this down into two, uh, two fractions. Okay, x over x, you get 1, and this is 3x to the power of minus 1. Now, if you differentiate y with respect to x in this case, okay, 1 becomes a 0 because this is a constant term. Okay, this is the basic power rule. Bring down the minus 1, minus 3 times minus 1, okay. The coefficient minus 3, minus 1 is uh, the power. Okay, x to the power of minus 1, minus 1 equals to minus 2. Uh, you get 3x to the power of minus 2. Alright, so this is how we do it uh, using the power method, the power rule method uh, and uh, basically using the difference rule. Now, if we're looking at uh, the quotient rule, this is uh, slightly more difficult, uh, but it will be very, very useful uh, when you're looking at more complicated terms in future. So we have um, x minus 3 as numerator and x as a denominator. Okay, so convention is that uh, let the top, the numerator, be v and the denominator be u. So let v, okay, be x minus 3, okay, and then u, okay, be x. Now, we notice that we ignore the power minus 1 here. We just take u as what's below. So if let's say there's x power 2 here, u will be x, power, x squared, not x minus 2. Okay, so we differentiate both one, dv, dx, differentiate v with respect to x, you get 1, uh, and differentiate u with respect to x, okay, you get 1. Now, the quotient rule takes a bit of uh, memory work, but once you get it, it's very easy. Now, this is the quotient rule, okay. First, okay, you're going to keep the v term, okay, sorry, the u term, okay, u, okay, dv, dx, okay, this is what we did. Uh, similar to uh, the product rule, okay, but now we minus v, okay, which is this term, du dx, the differential of the second term, over u squared, okay, u squared, okay. So if we put it in, u is x, okay, dv dx is 1, minus v, x minus 3, okay, and uh, du dx is 1. Okay, over x squared. Okay, so this is as I just just to revise. Okay, this is the quotient rule over here. dy dx equals to u, which is uh, the uh, the denominator term, uh, which is x over here, multiplied by dv dx, differential of v with respect to x over here, minus v du dx over u squared. Okay, so basically you need to. Uh, uh, remember this formula, okay? Some students um, uh, have this chart that says uh, keep the bottom differentiate the top minus keep the uh, keep the top differentiate the bottom over bottom squared. Okay, whatever floats your boat, uh, just remember it the way it is. 
Okay, so and then the simplifying part, okay, with x, okay, minus x plus 3, okay, over x squared. I just realized that I used a lot of okay in the video, so please, please, please let it go. Okay, fine. Now, what we do here is we get 3 over x squared. Okay, you get 3x minus 2. Now, you see this is the same. Now, one of the most important things that you need to learn and what I've uh, said in the first video is nobody should get hung up uh, on the names of the rule because these are rules that help you solve equations, uh, solve differential equations uh, in the future during your maths exam and so on and so forth. So there are, there are no questions that have come out that, we, that says, you know, using the product rule, solve for this equation, and so on and so forth. No. Um, these rules are here to help you, okay? And you need to be able to see how these rules uh, are useful and how uh, um, you will use them in whatever scenarios, you, scenarios that you have. Now, let's try one more, um, one more example. Okay, over here. So something something harder. Okay. So for example, we have let's say two x minus one to the power of square. Okay, to the power of two over um, let's say x minus three uh square. Okay. So similarly, similarly, let v equals to two x minus one squared. Dv over dx. Okay, two. 2x minus 1, okay, power minus 1, you differentiate inside, you get 2, okay. This first 2 is from this power over here, you bring down the power, okay, power minus 1. Uh, this 2 is what you get from differentiating uh, the x term inside, okay. And u equals to x minus 3, du dx, okay, bring down the power, okay, power minus 1, and then you differentiate the x term inside, you get 1. So, looking at over here, Okay, dy dx, if I, I do not need to write down the terms because the quotient rule is over here. Okay, I keep the u, which is x minus 3, x minus 3 squared. Okay, dv dx is this term, uh, multiplied by 4, 2x minus 1, minus uh, v, which is 2x minus 1 bracket squared, uh, and then du dx is... 2x minus 3 whole thing over x minus 3 power 2 squared. Okay, so what I do next is I simplify 8x minus 4 x minus 3 squared minus 2x minus 3 2x minus 1 squared over x minus 3 to the power of 4. Okay, now you can I um, that you you should make it a good habit to see if not uh, see whether or not you can actually uh, factorize it. Okay, so this is um you, there was actually a two here. I made the mistake of uh putting the putting the two inside. Okay, or rather putting the four inside. Okay, um but if we take it out again. Uh, you you see that is two x minus one, x minus three squared, minus two x minus three, two x minus one squared over x minus three power four. Now you see that in the first term over here, there's two x minus one, x minus three, and two x minus and, and there's two x minus one. Sorry, x minus three, x minus three, and two x minus one. So actually, we can we can take out uh we can factorize out. Uh, we can factorize it out uh, by 2, 2x two minus 1, x minus 3, okay? Because we can see that uh, there, are common there are common terms here, okay? And then um, it will be 2x minus 3 minus, um, let me see, hang on please, x minus 3 and 2x minus 1. Okay, over x minus three to the power of four. So actually, what you can, this you can open, you can further simplify. 
2x minus 1, x minus 3, okay. Uh, this will become 2x minus 2x, you get 0, minus 6, plus 1, minus 5 over here. Okay, just simply, just basically uh, opening up the brackets. Okay, and you get um, minus 10, 2x minus 1, x minus 3 over x minus 3, 4. Okay, so you notice um, we this is our first step. Usually, uh, once you are get once you're able to get this step, you get your first mark. Okay, however, uh, the following steps here is basically simplifying uh, the whole uh, differential uh, equation. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is these are the simple, most basic rules of differentiation. Um, as I said in my first videos. Uh, this is my first time doing this for my students. This is the first time doing this for YouTube. So please let me know um, How I can make this better if, if you have any suggestions I am of, of all years I'm just trying to help my students uh, do well and I hope and I hope if uh, any of you viewers are watching it If, if these videos help you let me know how I can help you further uh, to do well. Thank you very much and good night